Simon Conway Show here on News Radio 1040 WHO. Uh, very busy, as I keep saying. We've got calls on the line. If you're patient, I promise I'm going to get to you. But uh, I've got a United States Congressman just in line ahead of you, and that person is uh, Tom Latham. Welcome, uh, uh, Congressman. Well, great to talk to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Caucus Day. <laughs> I guess it is. Are you going uh, to be caucusing tonight, sir? I am. I'm going to uh, several different locations uh, to meet a lot of the uh, new constituents I have here in Polk County and mm-hmm. to attend my own caucus uh, in Clive. And so I'm looking forward to it. It should be a great night. There's no reason, uh, weather-wise at least, for people not to to come out tonight after all the candidates have done their work, and now it's our turn. So uh, I just encourage every Republican to get out and uh, make their voice heard. Exactly right. Now, you've made a decision uh, not to endorse anybody. Are you still sticking with that? I am. I, I just think that this is the uh, Republicans' chance to uh, you know, evaluate the candidates themselves. Uh, I'm not sure how much impact uh, you know, some endorsements have anyway, but uh, I just think it should be between the candidate and the, uh, and the citizen and, and let the citizen make up their mind. It's, uh, uh, it's going to be a real test tonight, uh, organizationally. And I, it's not just getting your people there, but to have somebody uh, you know, with credentials, somebody mm-hmm. that's credible, uh, to stand up and speak for you because uh, I think, as everyone knows, there's a lot of people going to walk in the door tonight that have not firmed up their decisions. So it's going to be really interesting. I think it's a very dynamic evening. Exactly right. I mean, this number, this 41%, is this a huge number? I mean, obviously, this is my first time here for this. Is this something we've ever seen before, uh, uh, Tom? You know, if that's true, uh, and I think it probably is, because you've got a great field of candidates out there who have worked their tails off to earn the support of, of voters. Mm-hmm. And it's really a tough decision between a lot of very, very good candidates. And everyone understands the goal is to defeat uh, you know, President Obama, to mm-hmm. get this country back in line, to cut spending, to create jobs, and get the, the economy going. And so everyone's uh, listening to the very last moment, I think. And if someone uh, that has some real... Uh, credibility in the community that stands up and speak for somebody, I think that can make a big difference tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, obviously uh, we, it happens every single time. Uh, we get the whole questions. Why Why do we do this Iowa thing? Why do we let them get away with that? Why do we do it? Um, <laughs> well, so why do we do it, uh, Congressman uh, Latham? Uh, well, I tell you what. It's, uh, Iowans take this extremely seriously. They want to uh, really study the candidates. They have a chance. And the whole country is watching. The world's watching tonight. So Iowans take it very seriously. They meet the candidates. They, uh, you know, if you have, like I always say, if you haven't met somebody three times, it's uh, that you know, it's your own fault. Certainly, if you haven't had them in your house for dinner, that's <laughs> that's your own fault also. Well, I but, prefer uh, I prefer Jan Michelson's description, in, uh, which is, uh, or maybe it was Van Harden's this morning, saying uh, in Iowa, if you've been here for the last year. Uh, you couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting a presidential <laughs> candidate. <laughs> well, it's, it's, that, that is a good description. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we are so fortunate here to be in this position. And uh, and the reason Iowa is so important is because the people take it very seriously mm-hmm. and they really study the candidates. Uh, and, you know, like you said before, they're still uh, making up their minds tonight before they go. But I just hope uh, my... I just pray that everybody gets out tonight and uh, makes their voice heard because it is absolutely critical. We can have a huge impact mm-hmm. on who the next president of the United States you're, is going to be right, turning big, out tonight. Are you expecting a big turnout? I think so. With the weather, with the amount of interest, uh, mm-hmm. you know, we're just about to go in the, uh, the Google Center down here at the uh, Polk County Convention Center, and you look at the uh, number of trucks out here, the satellites, yep. the amount of worldwide press oh, that this is getting. Yeah. Done my fair uh, yeah. share of that the last few days. What's that? I've done my fair share of that the last few yeah. days. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Yeah. But, you know, it, uh, it really shows how important it is. And this is something unique for Iowa, that Iowans should uh, make sure that they participate. And I think we're going to have a huge turnout tonight. Congressman Tom Latham, as ever, thank you very much for joining us uh, on our Caucus Day 2012. Great to visit with you, Simon. Again, Happy New Year. And to you, too. All right, let's go to the phones and our patient callers. And uh, first up is going to be Ken. Hi, Ken. You've got to be pretty quick, though. Uh, the quickness is 